Okay, hang on, hang on. Pause, time out, time out. Hold the presses. It has become so incredibly rare that a recipe that I would be recreating would go insanely viral as much as this one. The barbecue chicken deep fried tortilla pizza monstrosity. There are multiple different tweets with over 100,000 likes. There are celebrities and journalists and other famous people just mocking the heck out of it. So it is only right that ya boy, the internet recipe mythbuster, hop on this right now. And actually as I dug deeper into this, I found that somebody else has already tried to recreate it and documented every single step on their Twitter. Uh, that has since gone viral in it of itself and got its own Twitter moment and he's been retweeted by a bunch of celebrities, so... Sick. I don't care though, this recipe is right up my alley. Thank you to the hundreds, if not thousand of you, who have told me to do this. So let's get right into it. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar, this recipe went viral um, just because of its sheer extraness. Every single time you think it's done, it just goes an extra unnecessary step. It's really a thing of beauty if you think about it. It could also very well be the new record holder for the most ingredients I've ever used on a recipe ever. So if you want to make this, grab some mayo and oil, some breadcrumbs, barbecue sauce, marinara sauce, sour cream, and red onion. Flour, lemon juice, chives, garlic powder, paprika, cheddar cheese, and garlic. Are you still with me? Because that's not even half. Pepperoni slices, eggs, onion powder, mozzarella cheese, cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, dill weed, ground mustard, tortilla shells, some fresh parsley, some green onions, brown sugar, and not one, not two, but three packages of chicken breasts, as well as some bacon to round it all off. Now I can't say for sure because I have never really counted the ingredients but I can't remember a recipe that's ever used more than this. With that being said though, I measured out about a quarter of our dry ingredients and mixed them all together, and this is going to be the seasoning for our chicken breasts. On first glance, I did not think this was going to be nearly enough to cover all six of our breasts, but it seems like it might be. I tossed all my chicken down in a pan and sent it in a 350 degree oven for one hour to cook all the way through and become nice and tender. In the meantime, we have quite a bit of other work to get to, as you can imagine, starting with our pound of bacon. Now, I'm guessing that this company is from maybe a European country because they call bacon rashers? I've never heard that term in my entire life of all my years doing these recipes. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that means strips. Uh, so I cooked up 12 and once those were all cooled down and blotted off a little bit with some paper towels I chopped them up into some bacon bits and set them off to the side for now In addition, we've got to chop up both our green and our red onion One of my many pet peeves with replicating internet recipes is when they just say one onion It's impossible to know exactly how much that one onion is it could be a quarter cup, it could be a full cup, who knows? I think a good happy medium here is going to be about half of this giant red onion. An hour later, I pulled my chicken from the oven, so I let it cool for a little bit. I started to shred it up, um, and this does actually look a lot paler, less seasoned in general than the original recipe, so maybe we'll address that at the end. But after about a half hour of shredding my chicken breasts, with two forks. I threw in my green and red onions, my bacon bits, and some barbecue sauce. I'm seriously questioning why we even seasoned our chicken so well if we're gonna just drown it all in barbecue sauce. And even with that being said, it seems like this is a lot less than they used in the video, so I did sprinkle in a little bit more. I did cheat a little bit and taste a bit of this chicken. It's pretty tasty, it's pretty tender, so I'm gonna set it off to the side for now. 
I grabbed my giant burrito tortillas and did the best I could to cut them into smaller circles that'll fit into our springform pan. And don't think I didn't forget about shredding both types of cheeses that I have, my cheddar and my mozzarella cheese. Obviously the mozzarella is for the very end when this becomes a pizza somehow. Uh, the cheddar, on the other hand, is gonna go right in the middle, along with the chicken, hopefully melt down and become one cohesive layer in the middle. I'd also like to stress how there's really a lack of measurements. There's a lack of specific directions as far as cooking time or temperatures or really a lot of things. It doesn't even say how long you should be frying your triangles or what temperature your oil should be at, but Honestly, I don't think they thought anybody would actually try this, so... I layered up my two tortilla shells, two layers of my cheddar cheese, and a very thick, generous layer of my chicken in the middle of everything. Don't be shy with this, because A, you've got a ton of chicken to work with, and B, you're gonna put a heavy pot on the top that's gonna kinda squish this all together, and according to the video, you want some pretty thick layers anyway. Once that was all constructed, I threw some weights on top and then popped it in the freezer for an hour. This step is very important or else you won't be able to do the next unnecessary step of this recipe, bread it and deep fry it. It goes without saying that I'd absolutely love to meet the person who created this recipe or honestly have just been present for when they were developing this recipe and what everybody else around them was thinking at the time. I have to be honest here, I thought this step was going to be an absolute chaotic mess uh, once I chopped it into six pieces and then tried to bread it, but after it was frozen, it stayed together surprisingly well, the chicken was not falling out, the squares were breading very nicely, very evenly, so maybe I shouldn't be so critical about this recipe. <laughs> Once I had all six of my segments fully coated, I dropped them in 350 degree oil for a minute or two. Honestly, this is just like a far off guess. Uh, it's a really good happy medium for fried foods. So I'm just gonna look out for a nice evenly golden brown color on the outside. And these are looking pretty good, so I just pulled them one at a time. You then have to throw them down on an oven safe tray and throw pizza toppings on them. I cannot even think of a way that they could have taken this any further than they possibly did. Uh, they baked it, melted down the cheese, got the pepperoni crispy, um, and I really have no words. I don't know what I created. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but let's give it a shot either way. Now I do have to say, it's very funny to me that Twitter considered this this crazy overkill all day recipe when really this didn't take me all that long. I'd say like seven or eight hours. Um, that might sound long to you. That's pretty much average for these videos. Now that I'm thinking about it, actually this probably wouldn't even be in like the top 25 of longest recipes in terms of uh, preparation time anyway, so if it tastes good, I won't mind it. I can't believe I made this. <laughs> what is my life even? I don't even know. Should I be embarrassed to say that this is delicious? <laughs> this is great. Who, who is complaining about this? It's legitimately just tender, shredded up chicken, barbecue sauce, tortilla shells, deep fried with a pizza coating on top. It's pretty good. I feel like I have to mention, yes, I fully understand the hypocrisy that is taking time to season your chicken really well and then just drowning it in barbecue sauce. Um, but it tastes good. Like, I wouldn't question it if somebody just gave me this shredded up chicken on a normal taco or something. I don't really know what this is. I thought this was a ranch at first, but then it has like dill and parsley and a bunch of other stuff, so I don't really know. I feel like it's really not necessary with all the barbecue sauce 
and other spices in there, but it's part of the recipe, so. Oh, God. <coughs> that is disgusting. And that's where it went bad, you guys. You just saw it. I don't know if it's the combination of the two, or like just the sauce alone. Either my sour cream or mayonnaise might be bad. That is gross. I don't really know what went wrong there. Um, we're gonna ignore that and pretend like it never happened. Honestly, just use that chicken seasoning recipe Maybe coat it in a little bit of barbecue sauce and then make some tacos. Not this mess. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was. Uh, if you did, leave me a big like. It's greatly appreciated. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you do not already. Let me know what recipes you guys want to see by DMing me on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter or just leave it in the comments down below. Other than that, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you right back here next time. Peace. And my money super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my 18 Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision